hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with another fgo video voice lines reaction i am back with some more indian servants and today i'm going to react to ramas and um ashwathaman's uh voice lines reaction i'm going to do that so in the previous video uh, previous week i already did arjuna and karnas and uh, yeah I, I told like i'm going to do it like this first i'm going to like you know react to all the indian servants then i'm going to uh shift to another you know group of servants for example uh let's take the knights of the round table you know i'm going to do all of them and kind of do it like this and uh yeah that will be interesting kind of <laughs> so yeah for now i'm going to react to the indian servants for the upcoming few weeks um there's a few servants still left so today i decided to react to rama and ashwathamans so that next week i can react to parvati and ganesha and i'm kind of grouping those two together because you know they're mother and son so that's why uh so yeah uh but yeah today uh rama and ashwathaman so let's get started and the original video that i'm reacting to will be in the description box uh and uh, you know if you've not checked the original video out and you want to go click on it and it'll take you there so yes let's start now first i'm going to react to rama then ashwathaman uh, and and uh, and also give my opinions and um my yeah like the discussion portion i'll talk about it then yeah anyways let's get started then rama's voice lines here we go Savato, Seva. イダイナルコサラのラーマだ。おし。大丈夫だ。世にすべて任せるがいい。ラーマズボイスアクターイズアム、セイムアズモーダレット。アイノーダット。そろそろ出かけないか。そう。世はサーバントであり、何時がマス
Okay. Hmm. Good. Good. Not like that. Yeah, like the the previous, like you know, the the very old servants ascension lines are very short and precise. Thank you. It's fine. We we understand. No, most of us are also socially awkward. So, all right. Okay. So, um, a few things I I I will talk about. I I do remember the Ramayana and, but it's kind of hazy. So I am not so sure about a lot of the things that I'll be talking about. But I do know the whole premise of the thing. Like you know, there's quite a few things that I I need to like I will talk about. For example, that whole thing of Sita, you know, like her him being um, ashamed of accusing her. That one, and then um, what else? Oh, the the whole thing of um, Arjuna and sharing you know wife. So that thing as well. So these things. I I don't. I'm 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 pretty sure most of you guys who are like you know heavy into the lore have. Already, I already know the thing and already, you know, checked it out. But for the people who don't know and didn't, like, you know, uh, read the lore, I'm going to kind of summarize it for you guys. So yeah. And as I said, like, you know, it's been a while I've actually read read these epics, uh, and not like I, I've not even read them completely. Like I, I know bits and pieces of them. Most of the important parts I know. So I might I I don't think I'll be wrong but I might have to like you know summarize the whole thing. So Yeah. All right. Okay and oh boy I I wonder if any in the future I don't know maybe you know Sita will probably be summonable but it's a very uh it's not something I see happening because you know of the curse like it's like a thing of where they are on different mobile, like you know, like Sita is in arcade while Rama is in um, mobile because of that curse. Kind of sad because this is something that we kind of know that will never happen. Like Sita's not coming in mobile, <laughs> nor Rama in arcade. <laughs> ならば、お前は私の敵だ。行くぞ。ビシュヌの加護。オーの契約だ。行くか。うん。いいだろう。我が力に活目せよ。行くぞ。ちゃ。ちゃ。さあ、知ってしまえ。<笑> ラセツを恐らく下踏滅の刃。その身で受けてみよう。いや。くらえ。ブラフマスター。じゃ。シータ。オーマイゴッド。許してくれ。イヴン、ワイル、ダイン、ヒジスト、モトルサンネーム。す
uh, new lines that have been added but other than that okay so rama ah oh boy like as i said um it's very unlikely that sita is ever going to come to mobile or rama is going to go to arcade because of the curse and uh, yeah it's kind of sad because half of the lines is talking about sita and it's sad to think that sita will never come i i don't think so because you know like there's this thing about um like you know there's like these whole memes and stuff where people used to say like oh um, um muramasa he, he's never going to come you know like muramasa has been there but he came eventually because like you know like it, it was just a matter of time but for sita i feel like it's never going to happen because you know they have this 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 whole setting of the curse that they can never be together any like you know any time so they, they will never be in the same game and that i feel i feel like that kind of kind of solidifies the whole point of sita never being able to be uh, sita never will be able to come in uh, mobile or rama will be able to go to arcade like it it solidifies that point and it kind of makes me feel that this is never going to happen never for example um i do know like you know there's a few characters that we still have that we have still not gotten for example rasputin you know like rasputin's not here but we have like you know maybe in the future we think that yeah rasputin will come but for sita that's never going to happen because of that curse i feel like that or i don't know if if like if 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 Gio kind of makes like a different type of a story where they are somehow able to bypass the curse or something maybe with that type of a setting maybe after that sita will be summonable i don't know but yeah i i i have very low hopes of sita coming to uh, mobile or vice versa rama going to arcade so yeah sad uh okay so uh like he talks uh, the first thing he talks about is arjuna he's talking about how he's like oh that is the fortunate hero arjuna however to share a wife even if we are countrymen that's hard to overlook now i'm sure most of you guys like you know who are heavy into the lore knows that arjuna like the whole like in all the five pandavas had one wife who is draupadi and um like i remember uh, the story behind it is yudhishthi one of the pandavas the elder uh, brother he now as i said you know like i might be wrong though but i think i'm correct <laughs> um yudhishthi uh, i think he he won her hand in marriage draupadi's but he remembered his mother saying uh, when he was a child that uh, you are supposed to share everything that you get with your brothers so that's why he took draupadi and you know, I, I think he asked for her permission as well and you know like that's why all five of them married draupadi and that draupadi has five uh, uh husbands that's why so that's why he's saying like you know arjuna like you know uh to what does he say? however to share a wife yeah that's the meaning of that like uh the, the five pound of us uh arjuna uh no yudhishthira uh, yudhishthira arjuna um uh Bhim, bhima uh nakula sahadev yeah, these five. These five are the five Pandavas. And uh, yeah, this it's just reminded me of that story. And uh, that's what Rama is talking about here. Now for Karna, he, he does talk about Karna as well. And how like, you know, his gaze seems to pierce to everything. And he's like, oh, can I compete with uh, like, you know, Karna with archery then? <laughs> and yeah like rama also you know did archery and i remember rama and lakshmana R lakshmana is his brother who accompanied him on his exile um like you know lakshmana was also like you know the one who like you know did archery and everything so yeah like i was a little bit surprised when i saw that he is a saber you know i, I thought like he was going to like when i first started fgo i thought he was going to be like an archer or something but then I saw that, uh, like, you know, I think his bow, bow is for Sita. Sita has his bow or something like that. I don't remember. Like, that's like a, like an FGO arcade. Like, you know, that's why Sita is an archer there. Something like that, I think. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, all right. So that's the reason. All right. Okay. Um, now, the next one, he, where he talks about uh, what he hates. However, one thing I abhor is the most is myself when I suspected my beloved wife of infidelity okay um now okay i don't properly remember everything but as far as i can remember like you know uh sita was kidnapped by ravana 
and uh, Rama went to save him, uh, her. And after saving her, as I said, I don't remember, but I feel like something happened, and someone told Rama that, oh, like you know, uh, like you know, uh, it was like questioned Rama about his wife's uh, integrity, and you know, like uh, accused her of infidelity or something like that. He, she's like you know, that person said that, yeah, you must test her. And if you know, uh, Sita was born from the ground, from Mother Earth. Uh, you know, Sita was born from there. And um, Rama here, I think, told Sita that you're going to have to do the Agni Pariksha. Agni means fire and Pariksha means test. So test of, of fire. So there was like this like flaming part where Sita had to just walk through it. And if the flame does not burn her, like, you know, she's pure or something like that, you know, like she's not telling the truth. And Rama, like, you know, like, uh, like, you know, told Sita to do that. And Sita obviously was heartbroken because of that, uh, because his, uh, you know, her husband didn't trust him, her. And he did that. Nothing happened. She came out unscathed. And like, obviously, after that, Rama apologized and everything. But then, as far as I can remember, Sita was so sad uh, that Mother Earth came in and took Sita and went underground or something like that and i think like that curse of the separation comes from that doesn't it uh, that they will never be able to no no curse of the separation was something else it was uh, it was given by uh, one of those um what was her name um one of the monkeys i remember one of one of the wives of one i can't remember she cursed rama about the curse of separation and said that you and your wife will never be at the same time because you took my husband's life I don't remember the name I have forgotten uh, but that was the curse of separation that was not here sorry uh, but yeah mother earth took Sita in and you know that's that's what Rama is mentioning here he says that yeah like I I hate that about myself because there was once a time that I actually accused her of that and uh, yeah I think that's that's basically it um, yeah, I might have to go back to the Wikipedia articles and see if I'm correct or not because I think I, I, I said everything correctly. If I'm wrong, you know, let me know. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, all right, so. Okay, so that was uh, Rama's lines. And then, like, he talks about other stuff, other normal stuff. And <laughs> in his bond lines, he's like, oh, don't pat me, I'm the king. <laughs> well, that was kind of funny. And yeah, that was Rama. So hopefully he someday gets to meet Sita again in FGO. If the FGO developers feel sorry for him and like, you know what? Yeah, it's been so long and we must make an, like, you know, some kind of, I don't know, alternate timeline or something where Rama is able to make, meet Sita and somehow Sita is able to be summoned in Chaldea or something. Like hopefully in the future. <laughs> oh my God. So, yeah, that was Rama. All right, next, let's check out Ashwatthaman. And, uh, yeah, let's see. So, this is Ashwatthaman's Archer's voice lines. This is a long video, so, yeah, it's going to take a while. But here we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> he's just... Whoa! Yeah, he's angry. He's definitely angry. Somewhat. Okay, that's good. Okay. <laughs> あ。まあ。あれだ。あ。俺が行かる。マスターも行かる。それでいいんじゃねえか <laughs> what? 
<笑>ああ、オブビアスリーバカスヒシ。いや、待て、いくらなんでも違うだろてめえ。なんだその目は。は?ヒズヒズヒズ、ケノ。ドキドキと僕の人生に関わらないでほしいっす。だ。わあ
Wait, is this like a different bond line for his different ascension? Oh no no, it's the same thing. Oh, it's only the ascension art has been. I think it's the same lines, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. Wait, should I skip this part? It's, it's just that this, <laughs> this helmet lights up when he talks. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, I think I should skip this part. Wait, is this the same thing? Okay, I'm gonna skip this part because it's just that the ascension art is kind of glowing. It is the same thing. Okay, ah. let me skip a little bit. Okay, this this. Oh. It's the same thing. Only the ascension art is different. Okay, now this is a really cool ascension art. I feel like, like just look at him. The, you know his flamey hair. This thing and oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna do and he kind of really looks like Shiva here in this ascension art, you know, like how I would envision Shiva in FGO. It definitely looks like that. Okay, I'm gonna skip this as well. It's like the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay, um, here we go. The ascension lines. Okay, I don't know these because I don't have them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the same thing. Okay, I'm going to All right, this one is the best one. There you go. Shei. <laughs> With the god of destruction. Mai, ore wa ashibatta man. So kon toko wasurete nakiya, betsu ni ii. And this is the final one, I think. Yeah, final ascension arc. はい。怒りこそが我が原動力。怒りこそが正義をなし、悪を打つ。うん。偏りすぎだってな。バイアスト。だがな、俺はそっちの道で突っ走るって決めたんだな。そこんとこ。いや、he <laughs> oh, these are the arts? Yeah, the different arts. The third one is the best, I think. Oh, and this is the final one. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, he's really like, you know, how I would envision Shiva in FGO, the way he looks like, especially in the third art, you know, where there's like a little, um, what do you call it? Yellow, yellow thing in his head, which is the place where I would envision Shiva's third eye. And uh, I wonder if any day, like in the future, Shiva will come because like, as, as far as I know, Shiva is uh, like, you know, like she, not not Shiva, but you know, any type of god, FGO usually doesn't, like, you know, summon them just like that because of their divinity. It's impossible, like, to do that. So that's why, the, you, you know, like, pseudo servants exist. For example, Ishtar and, you know, Ereshkigal, like, you know, they took Rin's uh, body as a vessel, while Ganesha took Jinako's. And that's why like, these are like the pseudo servants. Um, Sakura's body was taken by Parvati. And like, you know, the gods actually try to find the body which is like most accustomed or attuned to them. And that's how they select them. So 
um maybe in the future someday shiva will also come uh, you know like that because like you know uh, like because he he gets accustomed to or attuned to some different some character maybe he's going to become a pseudo servant and come to kaldia i don't know but it i i feel like like shiva is like too huge of a character you know like in a mythological god character for fjo to not bring in so i feel like in the future he will come i don't know you know like and like how can i say like it it would be really cool if shiva comes like that'll be interesting and oh boy a lot of different <laughs> Uh, you know voice lines and interactions are going to get unlocked because parvati is here in kaldia so is ganesha ashwathaman is here so that'll be interesting <laughs> okay so yeah, and obviously arjuna is also here he might talk to arjuna as well like that's how so i feel like shiva is going to come someday <laughs> バカ抜かすな。今からやるのは。ただの掃除だ。オッケー。来い、来い、来い。燃えろ。燃えろ。プレックロスティ。オーマイゴッド。え。ふ。くそ。了解だ。いや、ヒズライクザデリンクエント いかりこそが我が力。シャ。ペッカロス。わあ、オーマイゴッド。イラつくんだよ。いい加減に仕上がれ。ぶっ潰れて死ねさせてくれ。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <笑>戦士の誓いは塔に消え我らは堕落したそれでも俺は堕落を怒り自分自身にも怒り続けよう失踪するがいい須田る山チャクラおおだぜ失踪山チャクらおおいいとも皆殺しにしてやら我は死を
animations that time. Like, I don't even have anyone in my friend list who has Ashok Summon. One or two of them, I think. Oh wait, he's a... Oh! oh I didn't... Re he's a quick noble Santa's music? I didn't even know that. That's how you know, you know? Like, I, I don't even use him that much. I don't have him... No, he, he's a buster. Wait, so... Why does he have, like, a quick up? I try to find someone in my friend list who has Ashwatthaman and use him because okay. あれは死をもたらす戦士なれば不滅の刃を持って何時を引き裂こう。<笑> <Wow>. <笑> <laughs> oh boy, that was something. Wow. Alright, so that was Ashwatthaman. Angry <laughs> young man. <laughs> He's just so angry. Okay, one thing I need to check out. Uh, I'm just double checking. Uh, his father, Drona, there you go. Um, so yeah, I knew that. Uh, I was just, just double checking. So, <clears throat> like, if you guys, I, I'm sure most of you know, like, his father is Dronacharya, who is the master, uh, like, you know, the, the teacher of the Pandavas. And, uh, uh, yeah, and he, he's part of the, you know, he was part of the Kauravas, and that's why he was so happy when, like, you know, Karna was there. He's like, uh, where is that part? Yeah, he's like, ah, Karna, ain't you Karna? What are you doing? What are you? You're in this side too? Like, he's just so happy. I'm like, that, that whole part was so hilarious. The way he screams, you know, at first. And then he's like, oh, it's Karna. <laughs> oh my god. And, ah, uh, that was something. And then he talks about, um, uh, like, you know, Arjuna as well. Like, he's like, oh, damn, Arjuna's here as well. That's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> uh, and uh, okay, um, I love the fact that uh, for G Ganesha, at first, he, where is that part? He at the beginning he was like, where is it? At first, when he sees Ganesha, he's like, wait, Lord Ganesha, the Ganesha Sama, you're here as well. And then, his sh tone completely shifts. Like, at first he was so, like, you know, respectful, kind of, like, you know. And then he's like, no, wait. Like, that's wrong, isn't it? What's with your eyes and what's with you? Like, <laughs> you're not Ganesha. <laughs> and then Ganesha probably just told him, you know, like, Yo, I don't want to get involved with the Yankees or delinquents. And he just gets mad. So, obviously we can see the, uh, you know, respect that he puts for anyone who's related to Shiva and um, that's why f at first when he saw Ganesha he was like oh it's Lord Ganesha and then he changes because he realizes that's not full Ganesha that's Jinako that has Jinako as well and he then talks about um, talks with Parvati and that's where he shows the ultimate respect he's like where is it he's like Lady Parvati <laughs> he just he, the way his tone shifts and he's like oh I apologize for this like you know this uh, form I'm like probably blood stained here and there I should have just went for a wash but I apologize like you know to show you this uh, like you know form of mine and <laughs> like 
<laughs> that was just amazing. Like we can see, like you know, that he 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 has been blessed by Shiva. Uh, so that's why he's so respectful for any like you know anyone who's just related to Shiva at any manner. Now I am a little bit curious why they did not put any kind of dialogue with Kama. Like I feel like that would have been an um like an amazing like you know thing like if he actually commented about karma as well because you know like the history of karma with shiva you know shiva just burned him down um <laughs> so it i'm quite i'm quite surprised that he did not have anything to say about karma however i when i'm going to uh, react to karma's voice lines i'm going to check out if she has anything to talk about uh Hashwathaman. because karma obviously has a lot to say about parvati so I'm quite curious if he says if she says anything about uh, Ashwatthaman as well, because it would make sense if she talks about Ashwatthaman since you know like like he and Shiva are kind of related. So yeah, that's I'm quite curious about that. So I'll react to that when Kama's voice lines comes. But for now, yeah. And then he talks about Arjuna altar as well. He's like, wait a minute, who the hell are you? Like, I don't want this Arjuna. Like bring the the, the original Arjuna back. Oh boy. All right, one thing. Um, what's up with his um weapon? Just a second. I'm I'm going to check this out. Ashwatthaman in 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 his uh, official wiki page. Uh, let's see. Weapon. Uh, uh, here we go. Combat. Even though he's an archer, Ashwatthaman is a melee fighter who uses a giant chakra, Shudarshan chakra. There you go. As his weapon. Uh, oh my God. What is uh, a weapon he couldn't actually obtain in his previous life and that was originally used by Krishna, yeah. After becoming an archer, he worked hard and obtained it or something like that. Wait, what? <laughs> he worked hard and obtained it or something like that, okay. It seems like his proficiency improves with every holy grail war, but details are unknown. Alright. Now, if you know Sudarshan Chakra, just a sec. Uh, it's one of the weapons which like you know, while growing up i've heard of a lot because uh, you know in like gods and goddesses pictures that we had uh, krishna always had ashuda shan chakra in his hand like he had his finger like this and there was a little ring a chakram just uh, you know just rotating around his finger that was called shudashana chakra and he used to like you know hurl that in towards the enemies and he would just cut everything so I've like you know like I like I've, I've seen a lot of Sudarshan Chakra and everything. That's why I was kind of kind of surprised when I see like that was actually the Sudarshan Chakra. Uh, okay, uh, here's the official uh, wiki page of Sudarshan Chakra. It says it's a disc of auspicious vision, uh, a spinning discus weapons with 108 serrated edges used by Hindu god Vishnu or Krishna. The Sudarshan Chakra is generally portrayed on the right rear hand, you know, like this, of the four hands of Vishnu who use a uh, who also holds a shankha shankha is like a like you know kind of a conch shell a gada mace and a padma lotus and, uh, and the chakra was vishnu's symbol as a wheel of time and by the late period the sudarshana chakra emerged as an uh, anthropomorphic form as a fierce form of vishnu used for destructive destruction of demons uh, the deity is also known as chakra perumal or Chakra Rathesvar. So yeah, I didn't know of all of these extra information, but I did know about Sudarshan Chakra. So I was kind of surprised when I saw that because I, I really had no idea that was actually the Sudarshan Chakra. Didn't they actually mention that in LD4? I don't even remember that. Another thing I need to check out. What's his relation with Yamraj? Okay, uh, here we go. As the heroic half incarnation of Shiva, Ashwatthaman is a demigod holding the power of Shiva and Yama within. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel, yeah, I feel like they actually mentioned this in Lost Belt 4. I, don't, I probably forgot. Uh, due to being one of the most famous heroes in Mahabharata, Ashwatthaman is said to be equal, if not superior to Karna, to which Karna agrees, saying that even while he was receiving the teachings of his creature Drona, it wasn't like he was the strongest warrior all around. After having fought each other 2000 times in a realm where time is meaningless, Karna stated that Ashwatthaman is one of the strongest warriors he has met in the Grand Orders as they reached an even score of 1000 wins and 1000 losses. 
As the hero of Kauravas, Ashwatthaman is not only an exceptionally skilled warrior but a tactician, clever enough to serve as a commander-in-chief, that is to say he's a servant who can fulfill more than just one role. Despite being such an amazing mythological feature, he was no match for Arjuna Otter in his absolute divine power. Okay, there you go. So, oh, so he has the power of both Shiva and Yama. And that's why I'm guessing, like, he, he talks about, uh, like, not talks about, but his, you know, main noble phantasm has Yamaraj in it. Okay, uh, Sudarshan Chakra Yamaraj. One of Ashwatthaman's noble phantasm, unusually he made a weapon he didn't possess in life that he couldn't possess into a noble phantasm, originally a weapon of Krishna. He has a huge chakram in his hand at the end of time being summoned as a servant, freely manipulated this weapon and continued engraving it in his memory as a warrior. In other words, all his usage of chakram is self-taught and original that wasn't taught by anyone. After becoming an archer, he worked hard and obtained something like that. It seems his proficiency improves. Uh, yeah, okay. And that's it. Wait. I'm still not seeing the relation with Yamaraj. Like where, how, how is his chakram related to Yam, Yama? It must be somehow related to him. Otherwise, it, the name wouldn't have Yamaraj in it. Oh, yeah. If you guys know, let me know. How is like, you know, he related to uh, Yamaraj or Yama? How is he related to him? Like, Shiva, I understand. I know that. But how, what about Yama? How is he related to him? I feel like they said this in Lost Bell 4 and I probably forgot or something. Because I do remember Yama's name popping up in Lost Bell 4. So anyways, um, okay, so that was like uh, the information that I was kind of curious about. And uh, yeah, I do wonder if someday Drona will come in FGO. That'll be kind of interesting, you know. <laughs> okay. All right, so that was that. And then he talks about the other stuff, you know, he talks about his, about his anger, his chakram as well. You know, his rage and he even talks about Yuga Kshetra, you know, talks about Arjuna altar and after, you know, he completed Yuga Kshetra, how he came into terms with his own anger, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, and his battle lines were hilarious. He's just shouting either die or kill or burn or something like that. And just, it was just, it was just hilarious. And he... <laughs> He, he just reminds me so much of Bakugo from My Hero Academia. My god, just screaming Shine or die <laughs> or just gonna you know, burn or I'm like, what? <laughs> oh my, his battle lines were hilarious. It's just so funny. Oh. And uh, yeah. All right, and that was it. That was Ashwatthaman. Uh, Archer's voice lines and wow, that was that was really entertaining entertaining and you can see you know Like you can see how they have actually expanded the lines as like it progresses like the Rama was a very early servant So he doesn't have much to talk about but I do know like they updated his voice lines But Ashwatthaman since he's one of the newer servants. He has so much to talk about, you know, and uh, Yeah, so much to talk about the different servants and everything. It's kind of interesting so uh, yeah so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. This was my reactions to two servants of, uh, you know, like uh, two Indian servants, Rama and Ashwatthaman. I had a great time. And yeah, there's so many things that I got to know. Now, as I said, you know, like I might have been wrong here and there. So people like, you know, you, you guys who are very deep into lore and maybe you guys were able to, um, you know, like, uh, like you were able to realize that I'm talking wrong about something or mis like, you know, giving misinformation. Cut me down in the comments if I really like, you know, uh, said something uh, like, you know, incorrect, just correct me because even though I'm an Indian, I like, you know, like I am very, like, you know, like I, I just know the summaries of the different characters and just, that's just it. You know, I don't have like these deep detailed information of, about their lores and stuff. Uh, or, or I probably forgot a lot of the things. So yeah, correct me down in the comment sections. If I, like, you know, gave some incorrect information or something, you know, the whole thing about Rama, Sita, the whole thing I talked about, you know, uh, like going into the uh, earth, Sita going to, into the earth and uh, how in, like, you know, like all that stuff. Like, if I'm wrong about something, let me know. And uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. So next week, what I'm going to do is react to two more of the Indian servants. 
uh, I'm going to react to Parvati and Ganesha both of them I know <laughs> parent and child I'm going to react to them so it'll be interesting so that's it thanks for watching guys it was this was my reaction to Rama and Ashwatthaman's voice lines so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know or if i've made any mistakes correct me down and uh, yeah so i put out fgo content like this once or twice a week reacting to amvs and also these type of things um this will be weekly so next week i'm going to go come back with another voice lines reactions now i do not know when lost belt five olympus is going to start if it starts within next week i might not I'll, I'll probably have to stop my reactions to these voice lines and uh you know like the uh amvs because i'll be like you know re recording my gameplay video on olympus and i'll do that every day so i won't have time to react to these things so it will be kind of in like you know i'll, I'll pause reacting to these things after lost belt olympus five olympus ends i'm going to again resume so that's what i'm going to do i just wanted to tell you guys so yeah so when olympus comes out yeah i'm going to start recording and you know <laughs> my reaction and my gameplay to olympus i'm really looking forward to olympus so and it's going to start because the pre-release camping has already started so one or two weeks probably we're going to get olympus very soon so that's it so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys uh next week with another voice line reaction of um ganesha and parvati i'm going to do that next week so see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day